since really the first play of our second exhibition game. We've had challenges where we haven't had point guards. So it's, it's been a little bit of a hodgepodge, I guess, is the right word, to uh, get through early in the season. Trent Frazier crosses over, drives, left hand, lays it in. We've been without Dre for quite some time. It's been a little hit and miss, but boy, those guys, Trent Frazier and Plummer, have held down major, major minutes. Plummer with the first triple of the game for the Atlanta. They've both been fabulous. Me and Trent, we roommates, we homies, we homeboys. It's like you, it's like playing with a brother. Him being a transfer, I didn't think he was coming over here right away to play, you know, 35, 36 minutes a game, but with him being a fifth year senior, He's took on the challenge for every night. He's a special player. Plumber, why not? He got another. He's won a lot of games for us. He knows he's the best shooter in the country. And he goes out every night and tries to prove that. I've been underrated my whole life. I feel like every time I step on the court, there's some, someone always gonna say, he cannot do this or cannot do that. Like, I feel like every time it's something that it's like a, it's like a wall. They put a wall, and like, I gotta go through it. No, everybody looks at a 5'10 off guard. You know, he's not good enough to play at the high major level. Or you look at the fact he didn't play AU basketball. You know, that he's he's from a different country, and nobody knows about him, and he's, you know, he spent so long in Puerto Rico. He goes junior college. I mean, my goodness. Everything he's done, he's been successful at it. You know, who's to doubt him? Who's to question him when you work as hard as he does? To me, me and Trent probably, we're the tough backcourt in the nation. So he's just gonna keep doing what, I'm, what we're doing. But yeah, it's really dope to show people like we're really good at it. It's very hard to change a culture in a program. The Zumu has been an absolute assassin. Everybody looks at Io and thinks that, you know, Io was the one and Io turned it. I wasn't here the first year. He didn't go through that. One of my first college games, I remember airballing the three in the corner, airballing the layup. Coach subbed me out, and I was at the end of the bench, literally crying. I was so small and skinny, um, and I literally had zero confidence of, you know, being successful in the Big Ten. But. I got back in the star lineup and I found my confidence in myself going out there and having fun. Frazier, deep three. <laughs> the next year, we add Io, we add Andres Feliz, and that lightened the load. And that shifted him into not having to score as much, yet still being a guy who could go get 30 in a game. And that second year, he really blossomed into an all around play. He bought into the defensive side. And that was something that, in my opinion, made him one of the best two-way guards in the country. And a steal, Trent Frazier with numbers going the other way. Frazier lays it up and in. He's literally played every part and every role that a basketball player could be a part of, from a scorer to a point guard to a facilitator to the best defender in the country. You wish you could clone him. He's, he's just that, uh, he's that valuable to us. This being the first school that offered me is special. I just hope I leave behind. Every time I stepped on the floor, people were always like, I miss his energy. I miss watching him, you know, just competing at a high level every night for 40 minutes. Will his name hang in the rafters? It should. I don't know if it will. But he's going to have one of the storied careers in Illinois basketball history, which is one of the greatest programs in the country. I think he can walk out of here and know that he's always got a place he can call home, and that he left a lot of sweat, a lot of blood, and a lot of hard work um, around this place to help make it better.